Hey guys, Aiden here and welcome back to another Match Day Vlog. Today, Hearts take on St Mirren at Tynecastle Park in the Cinch Premiership in what is a massive game for both sides. Now, both teams, Hearts and St Mirren, are going through pretty rough patches of form at the moment. Even though Hearts do sit third and the Buddies sit in a respectable 6th place, they've both struggled for form in recent weeks. St Mirren are actually winless since October. And Hearts are much better, let's be real, we've got to get back on track after a very disappointing 2-0 defeat to Motherwell last Saturday. It'll be very difficult, like I said, St Mirren are by no means a pushover, they've got some pretty good players including Jamie McGrath and they have got a very capable strike force in Eamon Brophy and Curtis Main who unfortunately both have got history of scoring against Hearts but you know what, I reckon Hearts going to come out on top today, I think we're going to win 2-0. Full squad, no injuries, so Liam Boyce will be back amongst the goals, mark my words. Without further ado, let's get to Tyne Castle, come on the Gorgie. I should also note that I am recording this on the night before the game, I'm working in the morning, so it's a pretty big rush to get home, record the video and then go to Tyne Castle, so if my clothes magically change, mind your own business, it's the magic of editing, let's go. And the least surprising news of all time, Edinburgh traffic is an absolute standstill at the minute. <sighs> Jams in like five minutes. Better get a shift in. This is an absolute joke. You know what's bad when this man is out pacing half the cars on the road. What a shambles! Come on, come on, come on. Hurry up, you. Hello there, darling. Oh, two minutes. Oh, boss. Why have you done this to me? What is your game? It could be so much worse. You could find your Saturday afternoon here. Overpriced nonsense. Not for me. Yes, I have saw a team selection, a few interesting calls from Robbie, shall we say, but I'm hopeful we'll get the job done regardless. I'll still stick to my 2 0 prediction from last night. <sighs> We're only at the start of Princess Street, and it's half an hour till kick off. This day could certainly have started a lot better. <sighs> desperate times, desperate measures, all for sitting on at home. Oh my! Ah yes, you can tell it's the festive season when the Christmas tree goes up at the Foundation Plaza. into the game here and I won't lie, the usual dynamic duo of Devon and Meringue have been anonymous so far. Saints have looked pretty dangerous in the break, to be fair to them, but so far they give a few chances. Craig Gordon, once again, you are the love of my life. Cut it! Oh. Yeah, boys, it's a shot off! Reflected wide for a second hot scorer of the match. We've really went through the motions so far. St Myrna played like the home team. Go on, Liam! Please! Oh. That just about sums up the first half. A very, very pair from Liam Boyce. It's still now now. Referee Alan Muir goes the half time whistle. Let's make some noise, Tim Castle. Come on, come on, Once again, where would we be without Craig Goddard? Under that miraculous stop, I don't know how we're not one goal down. That is unreal. Oh. Once again! It's another Craig Gordon save! We should be getting pumped. I don't know how we're not. Go on, Barry! Oh! No way! How's he stopped that? 
Michael Smith, point blank range. Alex somehow turns it away. Yeah. Come on, Barry. Some noise for number 11, Gary Mackay Stevens! Right, half an hour to go, Hearts finally take the lead. Gary Mackay Stevens, a low drive into the bottom left corner, gets us 1 0 up. Is it undeserved? Absolutely, I don't care. We've taken a one goal lead. Get in. Full team score at Tynecastle Park yesterday. Hearts 2, St Mirren 0. Right, that first half, the less said the better. An absolute slugfest. St Mirren had far more intensity. And I thought they played more like the home team yesterday in that first 45. Craig Gordon made four or five massive saves to somehow keep the game at 0-0. And I honestly don't know how. Before GMS opened the score in, right, he made so many brilliant saves. And I know it's the cliche that Hearts fans rattle off all the time. But I dread to think where we'd be without Craig Gordon. But we've got him. I don't care. He bails us out all the time. And I love him for it dearly. Gary McKay-Steven, go aside. I still find him incredibly frustrating. He's really not got his consistency going at Hearts. Dundee United, great player. Skillful player. And like that's the GMS I thought we were going to sign. So far, we've not really seen that GMS in maroon and white at all. I hope he can turn it around, but right now he's just he's bugging me. With is just uh, there's something not quite clicking for him, and I hope he finds form pretty soon. That goal, he has scored four goals to be fair, but the trickery, the skill, it's not been there for GMS so far in his time at Hearts, and I hope we can see a bit more of that. Pretty sharpish. That midfield partnership too with Devon and Beringame, I love the pair of them to bits, but I do feel at home we do require an extra midfielder because both of them in the first half were anonymous, let's be real. Stephen Kingsley, dare I say it, our most consistent and best performing outfield player. That free kick, <laughs> sublime. The quick changes of his feet, the, the calmness on the ball, he is an excellent player and one that I really hope gets signed up along with Halkett. Talks on the way with Halkett for a new deal. I really hope we get him signed up as well. He's been very, very good. A much improved player this campaign so far. I know he still has his critics. Neil Rooney, I'm looking at you. But let's be real. Halkett has come on leaps and bounds. And thoroughly, thoroughly deserves a new deal. So, on to Parkhead. That'll be a laugh, won't it? I'm looking forward to it. You know what? In a strange way, I'm looking forward to it. It's a free hit. It's sell to get Parkhead. You know, we normally get scudded there. But if any team's going to get a result, I reckon it could be this one. Who knows? Let's just wait and see. Until then, thank you for watching today's matchday vlog. If you enjoyed, leave a like and a comment down below and let me know what you thought. Quick there to sub, quick there for more hearts content. Until Parkhead, I'll see you for more very soon. Until then, take care and bye for now.